Okay, Rhonda, so tell us your story. Um, so one morning I woke up and I had a headache and I looked in the mirror and my face was swollen and crooked on one side. Mm -hmm. um, it kept going on and on every morning. I would hope that it was gone and it wasn't. Mm -hmm. I um, started going to the emergency rooms after about a week mm -hmm. to see what was wrong. They did CAT scans and MRIs and x-rays and steroids and everything. Um, I went to almost every single specialist at UNC mm -hmm. um, that there is and for four months the swelling would not go down. Wow. So I... And this is like how much swelling are we talking about? I'll, we'll, we'll put a uh, picture up so people can see it, but yeah, pretty significant, uh, right? Yeah, pretty bad. Uh, was, the, was your eye open still? Um, sometimes it would be a little bit open. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it would swell so bad it would close it. Mm. Did it look like, was it, I mean, very puffy we're talking about, right? Yeah, yeah really okay. significant swelling. Got it, okay. And it almost looked like um, something, like a fishing hook was pulling my oh, wow. side up on one side. Yeah. Um, so the doctors at UNC, everybody thought, okay, at first, well, maybe it's Bell's palsy. Right. And then it wasn't that. And they said, maybe I had a minor stroke. It wasn't that. But your face was swollen, right? It was, yeah. Yeah, okay. I'm yeah. just making sure. It was swollen, which made this side look weak. Right. So that's why they were saying that. Okay. So I went to all allergy. I had all the allergy testing that you could possibly have. I had mm -hmm. rheumatology, ENT, mm -hmm. right. neurology, nobody. So I started reaching out on Facebook to different groups right. and stuff. And I was given your name. Okay. And, um... So when I set up the appointment and came in and spoke to you, mm -hmm. you, you told me about Hashimoto's, right. the possibility of that, because I have bounced back and forth with my thyroid, mm -hmm. and that you felt the autoimmune repair diet mm -hmm. may help me. Mm -hmm. And when I left, I was excited, but a little bit skeptical. Because <laughs> <laughs> you've said, wait a minute, how could it be that simple? I've, yeah, no, no one, Everyone else has said it can't possibly be that. Right, right because everybody said, oh, no, it's nothing... So anyway, I went on the diet, mm -hmm. and I was very good, did exactly what he said. After three days, the swelling was gone. Right, and we've got pictures of that, so we'll put them up. Yeah, there. after four months of that swelling, it was finally gone. In three days. Yes, right. in three days. And um, what's so funny is the UNC allergy doctor told mm -hmm. me, I said, could it possibly be like a gluten intolerance? Right, right. And she's like, nope, you tested negative for right, gluten. Right. It depends on, uh, as I tell people, and I'm going to interrupt, it depends on how you're testing and what you're testing. Because getting quote unquote tested for gluten is not as simple as people think. A lot of people get missed. The doctors mean well. It's just that the testing they're doing is really not very comprehensive. Right. So, yeah, and I know for a fact, because after hmm, maybe two months, mm -hmm. I couldn't take it anymore, and I wanted a sub. Right, and this is just like a couple days <laughs> yeah, ago, right? Yeah, a couple days ago, I was like, oh, no, I'm going to, it started over again. Uh -huh. I ate a sub, and my face swelled right back up. Yep. So I know it's definitely And then it went, the then it went back down. Yeah, it went back down. Once, once you got I away from it. <laughs> said, no, no more gluten for me. <laughs> right. So your body put up a little, it's like a check engine light, right? It said, don't eat, eat right? Yes. Well, you, you know, you're fortunate in that way that you've got a very clear indicator that you have a problem. A lot of people don't know that they've got a problem because what's happening is on the inside, you know, they don't have a real noticeable uh, sign. But, uh, so yeah. we know what that's uh, mystery solved, right? Right. Yeah. Yes. Well, cool. So awesome. So what would you say to someone who's got some kind of crazy mystery illness that no one can figure out what it is? You know, what, what should they maybe, what, what is your advice? Cause you went to all these specialists, right? And no one can figure out what it was. Yeah. Uh, well, come to Dr. Clark. <laughs> hey, all right, cool. <laughs> and, um, also, I'm a true believer now that basically we are what we eat yeah. and that most illnesses are linked to your diet. Yeah. Got to be, right? Yeah. Yeah. Got to be. be. Well, cool. Well, thank you so much. This is going to help a lot of people. And I, I'm, I'm really amazed at what your face looks like. I'm looking. It was the right side of her face for everyone who's wondering. And I'll put some pre and post pictures. But man, I'm happy for you. High five. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. See you later. Bye-bye.